can we justify that this water vapor behaves as an ideal gas in our moist air? I just sort of told you this is justifiable. And you say, well, that doesn't really sound right. I mean, you're treating it, you're treating water vapor that could start to condense as an ideal gas? I mean, isn't it on the, ver it's, it's, in some systems it does condense, but right up to the point where it's saturated vapor, it still behaves as an ideal gas? So yes, it does. So we, what we want to do is we want to just pick a temperature. Now, first of all, we're talking about moist air. We don't have buildings and homes and offices with ridiculously high temperatures. Nobody's designing you know, a classroom so that students can walk in, it'll be 115 degrees C. No, it doesn't happen. So right away, the temperature of interest for these moist air calculations is very restricted when you're doing HVAC calculations. It's very modest. You know, who wants to come in here when it's zero degrees C, freezing? You really? You want to sit in a classroom? No, 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 no. So the, the temperature range uh, for industrial processes is much wider than what it is for occupants and occupant health and occupant uh, satisfaction. Okay, but this is pretty hot, isn't it? 30 degrees C? <laughs> That's pretty hot. So it's kind of on the upper range. Okay. What we do is you say, if it behaves as an ideal gas, I think that P is equal to rho RT. And uh, if it doesn't behave as an ideal gas, we slip in the old Z, your old friend Z. Hey, what was that Z again? Some sort of compressibility factor? There's a couple of ways of doing this. You could uh, predict the specific volume, which is equal to uh, RT divided by P, using the ideal gas equation. And then you could compare that to the specific volume of vapor at these temperatures, saturated vapor, out of the tables. What tables? Like table A2, our steam table. And you'd say, is this reasonable? So what, what are we going to be using? We're going to be using the saturation pressure, PSAT, and that temperature. And then R is the, the R bar divided by the molar mass of water vapor. Okay, so this is the comparison. You say, how close is the specific volume for the water vapor if I treat it purely using the ideal gas equation? Or I go numerically and look it up in the tables. Here's the plot. So the error is the difference between the specific volume from measurements that are reported in your steam tables to the ideal gas equation. You take the absolute value and you normalize it. And then you're looking at some percent error. If this percent error is small, it behaves as an ideal gas. So we plot our old friend, temperature, specific volume. Hey, we haven't seen a TV diagram in a while. That was probably one of the first diagrams you're exposed to in Thermo 1. Yes, sir? Well, we're going to see 0.1%, 0 0.25%, 10%. Yeah, so what we have is uh, over this map on a TV diagram, you have increasing different areas where you have higher percent error. Okay, so now let's get familiar. Did you have a question back there? Okay, so this is kind of a ridiculous range of temperatures. I don't know too many people doing room, you know, air conditioning calculations with 150 and 200 degrees, but we plot it anyway, okay? Uh, and then the specific volume, you had to put it on a log scale so it will fit, but this is data plotted to scale. Okay, so we think about it, you're doing a lot of HVAC calculations way down here. And you're treating it as it's saturated vapor. So this is the zone of interest, a small fraction of the whole region. And it's less than 0.1%. But if you are starting to do some calculations with moist air at some high, high temperatures, 
or some high, high pressures because these pressures, notice I put a line of 100 kilopascal. That would be the partial pressure of the water vapor in this mixture. Well, that mixture pressure better be a lot higher than 100 kilopascal because that's the partial pressure that the water vapor would exert. So this is, this is kind of getting in a ridiculous region over in here. But if you really had some high pressures, high temperatures, uh, then don't use ideal gas approximation for water vapor. But in all of the HVAC calculations, it's all stuck right down in here. Great, great approximation. Let's press on. <clears throat> 